Let's come to our mountain pose and do our warm-ups and see where we go from there. Do some gentle yoga today. Spread your toes out, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up, shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling. Activate your core as always. So ribs toward your spine and up, lengthening through your spine, getting your posture nice and straight. Spread your toes, get grounded to the feet, but remember, don't grip your toes. Shoulders relaxed. Yeah, and just take a moment, closing your eyes and focusing on your breath, drawing your awareness inward. Exhale any stress or tension, and just breathe. We'll do our warm-ups. Inhaling, arms to shoulder level, stretch your fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart, stretch out to the front, and then exhale your hands behind you. Clasp them and press them down toward the floor as you lift your heart, feel that back bend, stretch your spine, and then pivot at your hips as you exhale, come on all the way over as deeply as you'd like. Hands toward the ceiling, and toward your legs, and lift your sitting bones, stretching the back. Bend your knees slightly, inhale your way up, and lift your heart. Another little back bend through the upper body, lifting your chest, stretching your head back. Remember, don't lift your chin too high, stretch the back of the neck. Inhale upright, release your arms, and take a moment just sinking into your feet, up through your spine, noticing your energy flowing. And again, arms at shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, keep the shoulders down. Clasp your hands the opposite way behind the other finger outside and lift your heart again. Pivot once more into your forward pivot. And again, as deeply as you like, move your chin around, get that neck releasing a little more. Bend your knees slightly if you like, or straighten them more for that back of your legs stretch. And then inhale your way slowly back up. From the bottom of the spine all the way into another back bend. Just lift your heart, stretch your head away, and drop your shoulders. Take a few breaths there, and when you're ready, inhale upright back into mountain pose. Take a moment there, feeling that energy flowing through your spine, through your body, warming you up slightly. And arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasping them for our side stretch. So remember, shoulders and hips stay facing forward. Stretch through your spine and lean to the side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down, out through your hands, and just feel those ribs open a little more. Take a moment and breathe, stretching it out. Inhale back upright, switch the other hand to the front. And again, arms by your ears, shoulders down, and lean to the other side. Make sure you're not leaning forward, just facing the front. Stretch it out, pushing your foot down and your ribs expand a little bit more. And then inhale upright and release. Feel the sides more activated. And then really stretch your spine apart for our twist. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands overhead, and clasp your elbows. Bring your arms back by your ears, sitting bones down, clamp high, and twist to one side. Take another breath. Exhale, open. And into your forward position, nice and deep, as much as you'd like. Lift your sitting bones, get those legs stretched out. Keep the weight on both feet and work your way back up in the twist into that upper body only back then. Remember, no work in that low back when you're twisting. Take a moment and breathe, lifting your heart. Inhale upright, exhale to the center and switch your arms, balance things out. And again, sink into your feet up through the crown and twist to the other side. Another breath. Exhale, over. 
Again, deepen as much as you'd like, spreading your toes, lifting your sitting bones, and relaxing. Keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. And when you're ready, inhale your way up into one more upper body movement. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, and don't forget to breathe. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center, arms up, extended mountain, and sink evenly into your feet. Keep your arms by your ears and come forward, pivoting at your hips, and stop halfway down. And then just drop into ragdoll, hanging, or pull in deeper with your hands behind your legs, and get a good stretch on your spine. Arms to the center, shins slightly in, knees slightly bent, and one more wind up from the bottom of your spine, getting that spinal activated by working at six directions. Shoulders back and down, arms at shoulder level, and palms toward the floor. Reach out through your fingertips, up through your crown. Keep their hips where they are and push to one side. Feel what's going on in your shoulders as you're doing that. And then back to the center and do the other way. And again, just notice how that's working. Back to the center. And then thumbs inside, wrap your fingers around, turn one fist up and one down. Keep pushing out through the fists and up through the crown. And then rotate the other way. So just moving the fists, one up and one down. Rotating them back and forth, back and forth, up and down. And then bring the elbows all the way up to the elbows into that rotation. And then up to your shoulders. And then really get the shoulders working, moving one forward and one back. As you rotate the whole arm along with the fist. Get a good massage going across that shoulder area upper back and neck. And then release the shoulders. Keep pushing out through the fists. And then just doing the fists. And then tighten the fists, turn them both down, stretch it out, tighten, tighten, tighten. And then slowly release those National Geographic pedal fingers Slowly letting them waver out, stretching out, reaching out with your fingers, pushing the palms away from you as those fingers rise a little bit toward the ceiling. And then shake it all out. Arms at your sides, just taking a moment, feeling all that circulation through the shoulders, the neck, and the arms. Hands to your heart. Inhale, follow the hands toward the ceiling. A nice little back bend as you bring the thumbs behind you and lift your heart. Exhale, pivot forward, bringing the hands to your heart and pivoting all the way over. Drop into ragdoll, arms just hanging. And then up into halfway up stretch, hands under your knees, gently pressing into your shins. So elbows, knees, and spine, everything straight. And then bend your knees, come on to the floor. So transition to our child pose, hips back to your heels, hands palms up, and forehead toward the floor. Just take a moment there, let the back of your body get a good stretch. Exhale on attention. Look in your chin, inhale, sitting up. And let's slide off and come into a cross-legged position, which, of course, we habitually do with one leg in front or on top, so reverse it and get comfortable. Sitting bones behind you or active supporting you with those hips and shoulders lined up, crown toward the ceiling. Take a moment and breathe, and we'll do a little neck warm-up. Tune into your throat center in meditation. So just drop your head, let the back of your neck get a good stretch. Exhale any tension. 
And then bring your hands one at a time, just adding weight, not pressure, so don't push. Just add a little bit of extra incentive for your head to just sink a little deeper. So remember, no stressing and straining, just letting that twist or that push happen with the weight, not with pressure. Take a breath, just let it deepen. Exhale, relaxing. Take a few moments really breathing into it, feeling what's going on through the back of your neck as it stretches. And then releasing your hands, tip your head up and lift your chin just slightly so you feel that throat stretch. But remember, keep stretching through the base of your skull, back of your neck area. So reaching out through the top of your head, just lengthening through the throat. Move your jaw around, get that throat stretching around. Stretch your face. And then tip your head back upright. Take a moment there, just feel your neck getting a little bit more activated. And let's switch our legs because we like to balance it out after a while. So again, coming into your seated position, just comfortably, whatever is working for you. Push those sitting bones slightly behind you so you've got a good base of support. And we'll do our side stretch, so bring your ear over toward one shoulder. As you do that, just relax through this opposite side where it's stretching. And then bring your opposite hand that you're tipping toward to the outside of your head. Take a moment and breathe. Just feel that stretch, but remember, no pressure with the hand, just a little extra weight. If that's good, stay there. If you want a little more stretch, hand to the floor and press it gently down. And just feel that stretch a little bit more across the top of your shoulder into your neck. Exhale. Just relax. Keep both shoulders down. No hunching anything up. Exhale. Notice what's going on in your body. And then release the hand from the floor if it's there. And take the hand from your head. And take your head back upright. Feel what's going on on both sides because it's different now. So we've got to you know, balance the other way. So go ahead, ear over to the side, keep the shoulders both down, feel the stretch starting. And then the side you're tipping toward, no pressure, just the weight of your hand on the outside of your head. And if you want more stretch, the hand can go to the floor, pushing it down, just gently. So no pressure on the head, just letting it get a good stretch with the weight of your head and hand. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale. Relax it down. And then releasing the hands. Tip your head back upright. Again, just take a moment, feeling both sides of your neck, shoulder area, a little more activated. And we'll twist. So well, let's first switch our legs once more, getting it balanced and evened out. Take a moment, breathing, crown high, and keep that shoulder area dropping down toward your waist. Lengthen through the spine, especially through the neck, and then just turn your chin toward one shoulder. Take a moment there, breathe into it, lengthen up, Exhale, deepen maybe a little bit more, but remember, do what's right for your neck. Don't overdo. Breathing and relaxing, just going as far as you like. Keep stretching up through the crown. Not an exhalation, turn your chin back to the center. And again, keep stretching it up as you exhale and turn to the other shoulder. And again, breathing and stretching, maximizing that, exhaling a little deeper if that looks for your neck. But remember, keep both shoulders front, both hips front, and relax. Stretch it up through the ground. 
And again, exhale back to the center. Once more, let's switch the legs and allow the body just to, again, come into your comfortable seated posture. Bring your chin down to your throat center. Feel the back of the neck, give a little stretch. And then rotate your chin over toward the shoulder, up toward the ceiling. Keep stretching through the back of your neck. Rotate, lifting your chin in the center, stretching through the neck, coming over to the opposite shoulder, drawing the chin down and back to the middle of your chest. Same direction, rolling to the side, coming up and center, over and down, and back to the middle. And then reversing, going the other direction, to the shoulder, toward the ceiling, toward the middle, stretching that neck, and to go to the other side, and back down, rolling to the center. Second direction again, over to the shoulder and up, center and over and down to the shoulder and around to the chest. And then bring both hands to the back of your head, just gently, no pressure. Exhale, just let it stretch. Releasing your hands, tip the head up, lift your chin. And bring the hands to your forehead this time. So again, no pressure, just a little extra weight as you lift through the back of your neck and your chin. Take a breath, stretch the head back. Exhale the hands down and tip your head back up there. Lift your knees, bring your legs out to the front into step position. Sitting bones behind you, core activated, shoulders above your hips, press out through the feet, through the heels, pulling back with the toes. Let the backs of the knees relax down toward the floor. And then <clears throat> let's bring one foot into the inner thigh, knee out to the side, and then bend the other knee, bring the heel back near your hip, knee to the front. Take a moment to breathe, stretch up through the spine, we're doing a twist. So we're gonna bring the hand over to that first bent knee and the other arm out straight to the front. Lengthen up through your spine, this back hip's coming up as you turn your hips, ribs and shoulder, on your hand around into the twist. Bring it to the floor behind you, close to your body, lift up through the crown, and exhale, hips, ribs, and shoulder may be deepening a little further into the twist. Go only as much or as little as your twist needs on this side. Take a breath, exhale and deepen, looking slightly toward that back shoulder. And then lengthen up through the crown. And as you exhale, turn only your head and look toward the front shoulder. So just a little different twist through the neck there. Stretch it up and exhale, turn back slowly to the back shoulder. And as you get back into your starting twist position, bring your hand back up, looking at it, follow it back all the way around to the center. Release your hands and your feet back into step position. Take a moment feeling that twist, especially through the neck shoulder area, and we will do the same thing to the other side. So bend your left knee out to the side and bring your right heel back or the opposite of what you did before. So again, take a moment to breathe, just relaxing into that. Feel this hip slightly elevated because that's how we can move everything. Bring your hand to the front knee, or the first knee bent, and the other hand straight out. Lengthen up through your spine through the twist. Exhale, follow that hand, pull the way around toward the back. Bring the hand down to the floor, close to your body. Stretch up, spine opening. Exhale, hips, ribs, shoulder, turning all the way into the twist. 
deep and as much as you'd like from the sun. Take a breath, just relaxing. And then inhale, stretching up through the neck, through the crown, and exhale, turning your chin toward the front shoulder. And again, just as much or as little as that directional twist needs to go in your neck and body. Stretch it up, get that spine area open through the neck, and exhale, slowly turn back, chin toward the back shoulder. As you get back, bring the hand up behind you, and exhale, following it back to the center. Release your hands and bring your legs back into step position. At the moment there, breathing, pressing out through the heels, pulling back with the toes, and stretching up through the ground. Bring your feet together into butterfly, letting those knees go out toward the sides, clasping your hands under your toes, pull the heels in. Knees coming down toward the sides, I know we didn't rate, warm up those hips too much so they may not go too far. That's okay. Just go as far as they want to go. Chest forward and up, crown high, stretch that spine apart, and then hands again coming behind you for just a little pressure in the hands under your shoulders, getting that whole core a little more activated, and maybe letting those inner thighs release a little bit. Take a breath. Just exhale and relaxing any tightness. And then bring your hands back to the center. Take a moment there. Lift your knees. And bring your legs out to the front. And shift them over to the end of the mat. Activating your core. And of course, we're going to use it for support as we roll onto our backs. So just slowly coming there, maybe pausing as you go, letting those four muscles work a little bit further. And then when you get all the way down, just take a reclined integration moment, reclined on the mat, relaxing the shoulders down and the whole spine. Feet hip width apart, bring your arms out to T position. And let's um, send those toward your heels, raise your right leg, either bend it first or keep it straight, and raise it all the way up toward the ceiling. Flex your heel. We're going to roll all the way to the right side. Bring it, no, the left side, sorry, right foot, left side. Bring the foot down, hands together. Remember, keep your head down. Don't overwork your neck as you go to the side. Hold your foot with your left hand if that works. Otherwise, just hold the leg and bring your right hand right above your shoulder. Palm open. Lower it back of the hand toward the floor behind you, right at shoulder level. May not make it to the floor, just let it go as far as it wants to go. Take a moment there and breathe. <clears throat> and remember, the more you turn your head toward that arm behind you, the more your neck is in the twist. Be gentle if you need to. The more you hold your foot and push it away in front of you, that lower that gets into the twist a little more intensely. So don't go too far if you have lower back issues. And just let the gravity bring your hand toward the floor, and that'll bring your middle back more into the twist as well. Take a few breaths there, just exhaling, releasing the tension, allowing the twist to happen. When you're ready to release, let go of your leg foot, roll all the way onto your back, press it gently down as you flex your heel and lower slowly to the floor. When it gets down, just relax completely. Feel your body, a little more twist energy through you. And of course, you twist to the opposite side and balance things out. Sitting bones toward your heels, gently pressing down. Either bend the knee or straight, bring the left leg up straight toward the ceiling as much as you can. Flex the heel. We're rolling this time to the right, so opposite leg coming across. And again, keep your head down, don't overwork the neck. Hold your foot if that works with your right hand and bring your left hand up toward the ceiling. Take a breath, exhale, and begin lowering that hand. Just let it go as far as gravity wants to bring in. 
relax it. And as gravity releases a little more through those muscles, you can maybe go a little further into that twist. Turn your head for your neck twist only as far as your neck needs. And of course, push the foot away with your hand attached if you can, for that lower back to intensify a little if you want it to. Remember, only do twists as much as your body is willing to do. Never force a twist. But breathe into it. Exhale. Let gravity go any deeper whenever it's ready. And of course, when we're ready to release, just let go of your leg and foot, go all the way onto your back, flex the foot, activate the core, using it for support as you lower the leg. And when you get all the way down, just take a moment to breathe, exhale, and let into your shoulders. Let your body soften and sink. Bring your arms near your sides, palms up. We might have our final relaxation. Toes toward each other, and then relaxing, just letting that lower body release and relax. Exhale, any tension. Hands, palms up slightly away from the hips. Letting those shoulders release down into that surface beneath them. Take a deep breath, just exhale. Let your body sink deeper into that earth support. Relaxing completely, letting everything go, allowing the earth just to absorb your entire body weight. Breathing deep, relaxing, just allowing your focus to turn inward, scanning through your body, finding any points of tension. Move your head side to side. Just releasing any tightness across the shoulders and neck. And let it to come to rest in the middle and just relaxing slightly down. Exhale and then relaxing deep and into that earth support even further. Letting your body go as you do. Now, as your body sinks into the earth support, just allow your awareness of your body to release from your attention. As those thoughts release, other thoughts will come to you. Let them go as well. It's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. Take choice whether you pay attention. Set the thoughts disappear as easily as your breath. Go to the way without awareness. And just allow your awareness to turn inward, releasing your body and your mind, filling only with peace as you seek that peace deep within. Breathe the peace and be the peace. Just let the heart flow up. And of course, keep relaxing as long as you have opportunity today. It's time to get ready for the rest of your day. Just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you today. Maybe circling your feet, moving your arms and shoulders around. Head side to side, and a little more motion and movement in your body as you get ready for your final yoga hug appreciation. So bring your sitting bones slightly toward your heels, back gently down, 
Or your heels toward your hips. And your knees up toward your head. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself that appreciative yoga fun. Letting your body know you appreciate its yoga work today. And the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release that, head and feet to the floor. Rolling to the side. Sitting back up. Getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.